This video is about good strategies for studying effectively. Studying starts the first time you read the text. Research shows that quizzing yourself as you read is the most important thing you can do to study. By asking yourself questions about what you are reading, you're helping your brain store and retrieve information the way you'll need to for an exam. As you read, stop after each paragraph. Ask yourself if you understand what you read. Try to write down the main idea of the paragraph without looking at it. Repeat this for every paragraph. In our note-taking video, we discussed writing your notes in a question and answer format so that you can easily quiz yourself on everything you wrote. If you would rather, you would also write your notes out any way that you want and then make flashcards out of those notes with questions on the front and answers on the back, such as this flashcard with earth science terms. Penn Foster has built-in flashcards to help you quiz yourself on vocabulary terms. You can mark these mastered when you know them well and continue studying the ones that you aren't sure about. We also provide you with practice questions. These questions are constructed to help you check how much you understand, review the information you've already learned, and identify things that you are expected to know. If you have a practice question and it isn't something that you included in your notes and studied, read and study that section again before the exam. Similarly, be, be sure to review the key points at the end of each lesson. If they include any information that you don't know, be sure to go back and study it before taking the exam. Before we move on, here's a quick review question about studying. Which of the following should you use to quiz yourself? And there's more than one correct answer. I'll give you a few seconds to think about which of these things are useful. Okay, so useful things to study in order to quiz yourself. The notes that you wrote down, definitely. The practice questions provided by Penn Foster. The flashcards key points at the end of the lesson. All of those things are useful. Okay, and then the last answer is wrong. No review materials are needed. You need to have review materials so that you can check your memory to see how much you remembered correctly, what you got wrong, and if there's anything you left out. For studying, it's best to set a specific goal before you start. I'll study until I'm tired and I'll read the chapter right now are both plans that set you up to fail. Instead, set a small specific goal and stick to it. And a reward that you will give yourself to motivate you to finish that goal. That reward could be anything you'd rather do than studying, going out, watching a show, time on your phone, whatever. Stick to it and don't let yourself have the reward until the goal is met. Examples may be, I will read and study for 20 minutes with no interruptions, then get myself a snack. Or, I will read two pieces of text, take a five minute break, review my notes, read one more chunk, then I get to check Instagram. It's very important to devote specific time to studying. Do not multitask. So many students think that they are great at multitasking. They can study and check their phone or study while cooking spaghetti. But this is always a bad idea. Research shows that multitasking decreases the amount that you learn while studying and increases the amount of time you spend studying. Instead, if you have a lot to do, just make really small goals for studying and do the other tasks after you've reached those goals. It's more effective to study for only 10 minutes with no distractions than to study for 20 minutes while you are multitasking. Lastly, I want to go over a few common practices that students often do that do not help them be successful and alternatives that will. Many students read their book and highlight everything that seems important. This doesn't help them remember and doesn't help find information if most of the page is highlighted. Instead, you could just highlight specific words that you'll know you need to look up later so that you can easily find them on the page. 
Some students read a whole lesson at once, overwhelming their brains. Instead, read one section of a chapter or lesson, take a break, and then review your notes before moving on. Some students read the lesson once and assume they are ready to take the exam. Instead, try to answer the practice questions and quiz yourself on your notes. Study any weak points before taking the exam. Some students will study anywhere and everywhere whenever they have a minute, but it is best to find a place with few distractions in order to focus on your studies. Allowing disruptions to distract you is easy, but you will learn more if you minimize distractions. Turn off phone notifications, turn off the TV, try to get time to isolate yourself away from others in order to study. Instead of trying to push through anger or stress and study anyway, take a minute to breathe deeply, meditate, or otherwise relax before studying. This gets your brain prepared to take in new information. And some students just want to take the exam and get it over with, even if they're not fully prepared. You should instead take all of the time you need to read, study, and ask for help so that you're confident in taking the exam. One more review question before we go. Which of these is a good strategy if you are very busy? A, study at the same time that you are accomplishing other tasks. B, set up very short goals for uninterrupted studying, such as 10 minutes at a time. Or C, study with your phone notifications on so that you could reply right away. And we talked about how A is not a good idea. Studying while multitasking really makes your studying not as effective. B is a good plan. Just set aside very short chunks of time where you can study and then go do other things. And C is obviously not good. You don't want your phone to be distracting you um, or any other distractions while your brain needs to focus on your studying. So we hope that you'll use the strategies in this video to study more successfully. Please watch our other video about reading and taking notes. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact an instructor.